already know what time it is. Unless you've been asleep, fell, bumped your head, did some stupid shit like that. October the 6th in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the TLA, man, it's going down. The GOAT back again. Twice in a year. You know what I'm saying? Cassidy versus Arsenal, the Rebel. Get your tickets now at LiveNation.com. Get your tickets now. They're at LiveNation.com, man. Man. Yo, what's good? What's good? Listen, are you planning on attending Lockdown? Arsenal versus Cassidy out in Philly. Uh, it's going down October 6, 2019, a Sunday, virtually a month from today. And word just came through the wire, man. Shout out to Phone Jones. Shout out to TRBRC, man, for working, for promoting this event. Tickets are almost all sold out, man. I heard there's only about, uh, there's less than 20 VIPs remaining. Right. Um, whether it's 10 VIPs, like 15, five, I don't know. But there are less than 20 VIPs remaining and only about 200 general admission tickets remaining. So. Yo, yo, yo. So listen, phone Jones just hit me up, man. Let me know that the tickets are running low, like the tickets are almost all like, there are less than 20 VIP tickets remaining. I don't know how many tickets are, are, are left over. We're talking about lockdown, y'all. Cassidy, Arsenal. I mean, listen, man. URL, first time in Philly. Yo, I got my tickets the day I found out. Before it was even announced to the public, I already had locked my tickets down. Locked down. Arsenal, Cassidy, bars is back. Listen, there are only like 20 regular admission tickets left over general admission tickets are almost gone they are only like 200 left over only like 20 vips left over this shit is about to sell out before the weekend cassidy has done it again y'all url tv arsenal cassidy it's going down y'all feel it yo fellas definitely had to stop in real fast let everybody know i got an urgent message just got an urgent phone call the tickets are almost all sold out there is no more vip no more stage tickets you gotta get your fast lane early bird ticket asap get them asap fellas because it's gonna be done if you're trying to witness history, you got to cop it. Go get it. Don't think about it. Press the fucking button. It's easy. You can use PayPal, credit card, whatever. They even, I think they even got an option if you want to put them shits on layaway or some shit. Get on there. Do it. I hope to see everybody there. Got a witness history. Jordan's drop, you got a pair. But I, what about Jordan's stock? Do you got a share? Some niggas vanish to the guap. Double bang gold gang, man. Jersey 9, the, the real battle rap community, the real BRC, we in here. Just got the announcement again. I see people are taking heed to our warnings because there were 200 tickets left. Now there's about 100 left. Uh, that's not counting VIP. VIP still has 20 seats available, 20 tickets available. Make sure you come out October 6th. Grab your ticket. Concerts 1. Uh, Concerts1.livenation.com. Come out and check it out, man. As you see, in honor of where it's taking place, the city of brotherly love. First, I broke out the T.O. Now I got the Scrambler Randall. And right behind me, you see it, man. Eagle's helmet. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Niners fan. Y'all know that. But this is T.O.'s autograph on there. And this is my old college helmet man my old alma mater LaSalle University Philly Pistolvania stand up man we in here double bang gold game grab your tickets man hurry up hurry up
There's no more VIP or stage passes left. Only thing that's left is admission tickets. Y'all need to go to LiveNation.com right now and get those tickets. I told you, the TRBRC got the juice. <laughs> we is the truth, man. For real. Uh, man, y'all need to go to LiveNation.com right now and get them tickets, man. Because we don't see them lasting, outlasting tomorrow. So y'all need to go right now and get them tickets. Only thing that's left is admissions. So salute to the real BRC and all the members of the real BRC, baby. <laughs> oh man, salute to the GOAT cast, man. It's it's been real, for real, for real. <laughs> salute to YMF, Enlightened Illumination, Mom Two Five Two, Mont Leezy, Positive Energy. Uh, yeah, I got yeah, these tickets. tickets man. I got the last one. Push me for it. Give me the tickets. No, no, these my tickets, nigga. You think these tickets? Me, man. Tickets, man. You should have went oh got your God. tickets oh online, God. man. It's, Tickets, tickets the dot com man you tripping man just get the tickets from there man tickets man you give me tickets bugging, man. man they ain't out yet go get the rest of them man What's up, haters? What's up, cucks? This is your mom favorite, the mom stickler, general of the TRBRC. And I just want to do a quick recap of the Summer Impact Reloaded card. Uh, Snake Eyes versus Iman was the first battle to go. Like I said, I was going to skip that like a bad habit, and I did. I skipped it, so I don't know what happened. I heard from the Grapevine, aka Twitter, that Ace uh, lost this battle. Um, and mostly from the people that I feel like are, you know, reasonable minded, not anybody that's, you know, hype beast. So, um, we will see, I will check it out later, but I did not want to watch it. I felt like those guys were just a waste of time. So Monstars versus NWX, as I predicted, NWX has gotten the nod. They definitely beat those guys. And I'm glad because it goes to show you that shotgun Shug. He's not that good. And he's sitting here ducking Jack. And he should take that battle against Jack for the October 6th card, also known as Lockdown. Cassie versus Arsenal going down to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Shook, you got to take on the match now. Stop ducking. Stop being a pussycat. Go take the match now. Uh, New Jersey Twerk, his force punching didn't work today. Obviously, K Shines, force punching their style that they both do. K Shine does it better. But the X factor, as usual, is DNA. DNA is the X factor. A lot of people do not give that man enough credit, enough enough props. I keep telling you guys, DNA is the X factor. Averb, do not try to go against him. You will lose more stock. You already have two losses against Murder Mook and, and Loaded Lux. You don't need any more losses. And speaking of Loaded Lux... His song, his performances for his songs or whatever like that, it was cool and all, but I, I just had to turn it off. It was boring to me, man. I don't understand how people are saying nothing about Lux and how trash. 
I ain't gonna say it was trash, but it was underwhelming, man. These songs, he's performing, his performance is underwhelming to me. And then they try to say like Cassie out numbers album wasn't good. Like you haven't listened to it, or you just a meat eater, or you just don't know hip hop at all because a numbers album, the songs that I heard from the numbers album, and then the songs that I heard from these battle rappers like Lux and Sue Surf do not even come close to the quality that the numbers album has produced. So y'all gotta check it out, man. It's on all streaming platforms. It's called Numbers by Cassidy, man. Fire stuff, man. Y'all hear me playing it at the um, end of this video. The song I feel good, usually at the end of my videos. Fire music. They need to have Cassie perform. They should have had him perform, honestly. You know, they probably had to throw it back for that. But it would have been worth it. Anyway, let's talk about uh, why we all here. <laughs> my mans. My guys. Calico Murder Mook versus... Dark Life, T Top, and Briz Rawstein. And it was cool at first, you know? Briz Rawstein and uh, T Top go first at the top because Murder Mook and Kyle won the heads, um, the coin toss, and, you know, so they went first. Yeah, and I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, like, they were spitting some stuff. They had some fire. Some of it was a little gas because the DJ was doing the little uh, Don DeMarco's and all that stuff. You know, they do that for the URL rappers. The people they try to push so you know they was doing a lot of um hype up and gassing and um so they got off i ain't gonna lie they got off so it was like looking kind of you know damn what is uh mook and kyle gonna do because they showed up they showed up and uh so mook and kyle start going and i like how they was um kyle was just breaking down and and how they ducked the battle in north carolina and then they start breaking down how these guys aren't real and how everything they say is fake. I felt like some of those lines should have got a Don DeMarco, should have got a lot more uh, love from New York. But like I've been saying, even with this Cassie versus Arsenal cards going in Philadelphia, it's not really an advantage for Cass because URL fans are URL fans. They're, if, whatever they at, they're, they, wherever URL at, they're going to be there. And they are not real fans of battle rap. They, they feel like they what they witnessing is battle rap, so that's what they know, and that's what they go for. Um, like the force punching, they're going to share for it. You know, a little simple stuff they're going to share for the simple stuff. They're not going to really get in in tune with the deep intricate stuff. That is what Murder Mook and Kyle was doing. But they started waking up though. The crowd was waking up, start cheering, because they started seeing what they was doing. They started getting it. You know what I mean? And um, then, so, like, you know, you start seeing Briz getting a little agitated, a little scared. You see T-Top getting a little nervous, can't look at him. Then one looks forward, you know, they're standing to this, you know, they're looking, facing the crowd. Like, that's what Goods did against Cass. It's, it's like a technique these URL rappers do. And I don't like to call them rappers. Let's just call them battlers because they don't rap. And um, so they're doing their thing. So Kyle, Kyle, and, Kyle and Mook is just cooking cooking them and then it gets to a part where you know uh kyle and mook just barking on um t-top and you could tell briz was really really flustered at this point and you could see he was trying to do anything to stop the momentum of them and so he started grabbing on mook he held on to mook and grabbed around the collar and then mook just like yo start gripping him back and then like um briz slipped out of it and then mook cat this dumbass Cat this goofy ass. Oh yeah, one more thing I want to say though too. While while Briz and um T Top was rapping it round, Tay Rock the most beta male and battle rap. That dude is the greatest cheerleader of all time without a skirt on. He's so bitch made, man. He's such a female. This dude be like, that's right, boyfriends. That's right. That's right, boyfriends. That man was. They ain't a man. That dude's a beta. For real, like he, that's a beta, and like I can't believe anybody cheer for me. Yes, he has. He, he, he ain't with no battle yet this year. He's just a cheerleader at this point. He just reduced the cheerleader status. He was scared to go against Shadow Harad too. But anyway, we're not even talking about Tay Rock, man. But anyway, let's talk about the fight. So, like, like uh, Briz slip out of uh, Mook grip, and then Mook capped his dumb ass, and then uh, you see uh, Briz. Uh, like go like 
like I guess he I think he stumbled, started falling forward, he fell forward into Kyle, and then Kyle started capping him, bang, bang, bang. Bridge Rothstein, uh, um, T Top is like stiff, like scared stiff. He just like this, and then his fat ass started like like losing balance, and then he fell, and then he like crashed into like ten people behind him. Looked like a big ass red bowling ball, the Kool Aid Man, and just ran into a bunch of people, and they fell over like bowling pins. He got a strike if this was uh, bowling for real. Like his fat ass was losing balance. Like I can't, I never seen somebody do that before. Like. I can't see Bridge Ross. Uh, they both look goofy up there. They they got their ass whooped, and like you even see T Rex. Like T Rex was funny as shit. Like he started trying to throw punches, and um, you see Mook the hard time. Hard, hard time. I heard some people say that Mook was getting punched on. Mook did not get punched on at all. I did not see not one person because he was talking through the mic. You can hear him talking to the mic. Like fuck is wrong with you? Fuck is wrong with you? So, hey man, this battle rap man, things happen, man, and um, honestly. They want to place the blame on somebody. I don't really want to place the blame on anybody, honestly, because this is what happens in battle rap, man. And I ain't going to lie, man. So I keep saying to people, man, October 6th in Philadelphia, man, it's a grimy energy, bro. And Cassie putting a lot of pressure on these people, man. So they really reacting in certain ways, man. They can't deal with that type of pressure. And I ain't going to lie. In Philly, man, it's going to be, mm, it's going to be crazy. But like here... I don't want to put no blame on nobody, but if we have to, it got to go to Briz. Because you can see Briz was sweating, man. He was doing a lot of goofy shit. Like, he was going on the, on the, on the stage when he was rapping. Like, he was on the, like when uh, Mook and Kyle was rapping, he's doing, like, little crouching, doing a little dumb shit, uh, bumping his self into the butt and all that. Like, little weird stuff. Like, weird shit. And that's why he got beat. That's why he got beat. He got the beats on him. You know what I'm saying? They started putting the beats on him like he was a fucking uh, 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 song making program. Like he started getting the beats put on his dumb ass. That's what he get. Like you saw the tweets I showed y'all in the last video I posted. So I mean that's what he get, man. But that's my quick recap of like if you going if you gonna put the blame on anybody, you can't put it on Mook. Mook, Mook is the last person you gotta put the blame on. They was in his face. It was he ain't he ain't tripped when he was in his face. He ain't tripped when they was doing all that, like, whatever they was doing to him, you know what I'm saying? So, they got to be able to keep the cool, and they've been doing it, supposedly, they've been supposed to be, like, professionals have been doing it longer than him, or more, much more recent, or much more um, frequent than him, right? They go a lot more frequent than him, so they're aware, so he shouldn't have done that. He, he tried to grab, I guess he tried to grab Mook Chain or Kala or something like that. You grab a man around his neck, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I mean? That's how I got to go. And I know it's bad business. This is bad for business, but hey, man, this is battle rap, man. That's, uh, stuff happens. Stuff happens. You know, just gotta be prepared for it. That's all. But yo, this your mom favorite, the mom stickler. Yo, we working, man. Check out the whole real battle rap community. Links is in the description to all my brothers and my sister in our in our gang, gang, gang. Let's work, man. We study working. In the two if you cut it right A pound could go for 32 if it's butted right If you owe, I could have a hoe Hit you up tonight, it's in the pick You jumping